ever wanted to learn all you need to know about artificially inseminating your sow herd? Well, great. Here's a brief overview of that process. First, we'll start off talking about heat detection. This is a vital part in the process, but if you do not catch your sow in heat, then you will not be able to successfully breed her. In most operations, open sows that are ready to breed are kept in gestation crates inside barns. This aids in management and easier spotting of sows in heat. You should already know which of your sows should be coming in heat and when they are due to come in. Some easy signs of estrus are decreasing feed intake, swollen and red vulva, increased vocalization, restlessness, bar biting, and the most prominent sign of a sow in heat is her standing when pressure is applied to her back, especially in the presence of a boar. Once you have marked all the sows that are ready to breed, the selection of which boar to breed them to should be considered. Then, once you have your semen sorted and mixed with the proper ratios of extenders and antibiotics, you can begin the process of AI. First, let's go over a quick checklist of your equipment. The key component is your bottle of semen. Then, you have your AI catheter. Several different kinds are pictured here. Lastly, you have your lubrication for easy insertion. Now you're ready to breed your sows. The first step in the process is to lubricate the end of your catheter. Once that is done, gently slide it into the vaginal opening at an upward angle, carefully avoiding the urethra. With a slight counterclockwise twisting, you should be able to easily slide the catheter through the vagina and cervix. Once you feel pressure, stop. This is where you need to be. Now place the semen bottle onto the end of the catheter. Once that's done, gently squeeze the bottle till you can see the semen go down the catheter. Now just keep a slight squeeze on the bottle and gravity will take care of the rest. Once the bottle is completely empty, carefully remove the bottle from the catheter and slowly pull the catheter out. Doing this slowly ensures that you do not pull any of the semen out of the cervix with the catheter. You have now successfully artificially inseminated your sows. In most operations, they breed their sows two to three times, and I would also recommend doing so. Also, be sure and keep a close eye on any sows that may come back into heat. And here is your final result. Congratulations, and I hope your farm now becomes more successful.